What is up? I fell rock. My name is me, Going on Three, and welcome back to Fred Bear's Fright. So, in the last episode, we beat Night Four. That was about it. I failed a bunch of times. It took me like a half hour. Not as long as some people. It took them like two and a half hours. I don't care anymore. We unlocked Night Five, and Night Five is supposed to be really, really difficult, and it's actually completely different from the other nights. And I tried it. I attempted this, and I died in the first, basically the first hour. You have to survive till 6 a.m. Well, try not to be spring-locked or jump-scared by the animatronics. But I messed up, and I'm not good at video games. So hold shift to fend off hallucinations, and hold the spacebar to open your suit. So the suit closes itself. I just need to open it by pressing space. That's how I do it. Definitely not moving. So I do it right. Okay, leave Golden Freddy. Leave. I mean, Freddy, leave. Thank you. I'm about to be spring locked. Yeesh, this is not good. Leave, Freddy. Thank you. Dude. Okay, go, 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 go. Thank you. I'm just gonna open it. I gotta risk it. Yep. Come on, leave. Leave. <sighs> I made it to 5 a.m. and I died. Oh, so that's what happens if you don't fend off hallucinations. <sighs> well, I'm not just gonna have to like wait until it actually it actually goes away or when the sounds are actually gone. It's a little unfair. I'm sorry if I'm being really quiet, guys. I had to focus really, really hard on this. I don't know. I don't even know why. I just feel like it'd be hard to make commentary because if I try to comment, you know, if I try to make commentary, then I'll probably lose focus. You know, that's just who I am. Ah! Why did I do that? I was, I was, ex I was trying to predict when he left, but obviously I can't do that because it's randomized when he leaves or not. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> there is no escaping that. It was either being dream scared by Bonnie or being killed by being spring locked. <sighs> so close to being that too. Why does it need to do this to me? The moment you open it when he's there, when you just start opening, oh, even for just a little bit, he kills you. Doesn't matter what hour. He just does. Uh, so hard. <laughs> what was I to do? Seriously, there's. How is there a way to avoid that? Uh, hi guys, so I decided that I didn't want to just, you know, just cut to the video to the part where I actually beat it, because I kind of just wanted to explain, from my point of view, um, how difficult exactly this was to beat. And I'm not even joking, this completely revolves around luck, and, like, luck, in this particular night especially, plays a huge role in this game. And, you know, luck did kind of play uh, a pretty important role in the rest of the nights, but this one, it almost completely revolves around luck because at certain points of the game, or like in certain parts of the hours, I guess, um, some of those, like, because sometimes they throw in the hallucinations early, but you're least likely to actually beat the night if you throw in a bunch of uh, hallucinations, like if... Like, you're pretty much done if it happens, like, three or four times. And that's crucial. Because if you're at 5 a.m., you're about to be spring-locked, and then Golden Freddy appears, you have no choice but to close your eyes and see, like, because it's a 50-50 chance whether you're, whether you're gonna survive or die. And 
as you can see here, it's already just 3 a.m. and you start at 2 a.m. because the phone guy actually is just taken away a little bit uh, later in the night. But you can see that it's it's already halfway, and that's not a good thing considering that it's only 3 a.m. I have three more hours to go, and you still need to survive until 6 a.m. I'm pretty sure that each night, and well, this night particularly is like four minutes or four and a half minutes, but it's really intense. And you have to rely on when the animatronics are going to come through the door and when the hallucinations are supposed to not appear. And this is important because you, again, have to rely on luck. This is very luck-based, and you just have to keep playing it over and over and over until you actually get it right. And I remember talking about in the video how apparently you can, like, swivel to the left or the right to make them leave faster. That does not do a thing. Apparently that was fixed in the patch that I have downloaded now. And, okay, so it's 4 a.m. right now. But, yeah, basically a patch was apparently fixed. And, basically, it fixes that issue, so that won't work anymore. Um, there are times where the animatronics are actually nice to you at times, where they're only there at the door for a short amount of time, or uh, they don't appear at the door for a certain amount of time. Here you can tell I got very lucky, there's no hallucinations yet, it was only up until 5am I think I got a hallucination, I'm pretty sure, but they were being really easy on me. I was about halfway spring logged, but even then, the animatronics, they, they weren't that harsh on me, and that's actually a good thing. And so, then it was at that point where it was about to be 5am, I'm pretty sure, maybe a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit further ahead, but... I'm basically saying that this part of the game does take a lot of concentration, which is why I was so quiet throughout the rest of this whole video. Uh, why I was being so quiet, why I cut to all the jump scares in this video, and exactly um, why this all had to uh, come down. Okay, so it's 5 a.m. right now, and we're about to we're about to beat it. And right there, the hallucination appears. I shut my eye, and then. Like, you need to listen until, he's, until he leaves. That's the only way that you can get through this. If you have your eyes open for too long, you're instantly spring-locked. And even if you're jump-scared by the animatronics when they see you trying to open the suit, then they also kill you. If you close your eye, it also um, and it works the same way. But that, that does also work, but it also spring-locks you faster. Which I've learned in my experience of playing this game. And... You know, going through trial and error, and this game, in particular, does revolve around trial and error at times, but it's not a bad game, obviously. It just is a little bit, it's a little bit harsh when it comes to, uh, luck and whatnot, and I'm even bleaking my eyes because of how much they hurt when trying to stare at the screen, but that doesn't matter anymore, because I've officially beaten it. So, thank you all for watching, and I hope I will see you again soon. I did it! Oh, that was so stressful. Okay. Now, I also need to go find a key. And it's located somewhere in this room. A to activate. So. Here come the animatronics. All broken apart. Really need, they really need some muscles. Got Fred there, Bonnie, uh, Freddy, Chica, and Foxy. I'm just gonna spam click, and as soon as a certain chest appears, it should be right about until now. Okay, spam click, spam click. Yes, I think that might have been it. So now we have insane mode unlocked, and we also have a couple other things I would like to show you guys. Now the tests begin. Spooky. All right, so let's just go to extras. Just relax on extras. Is there anything new with the animatronics itself? Nope. So we got mini games, and these are obviously are the mini games from before. Uh, then we have development. So this is the first dismantled Fredbear model, and yeah, it does look kind of odd. Uh, like yeah, it's it's the first model though, and this game has so much development history that, uh, yeah, original office. I understand why it was changed to the office that it is now because would have played a little bit weird. Uh, original office is something. Uh, uh, well, this is two original office. Old thumbnails. That is quite old. Uh, Alright, got that, and that, and that. Except this one is a little more modernized, because it uses the Fredbear model that it does now. 
Uh, I got that as well. That looks pretty dumb, actually. Uh, they got the old loading screen. Uh, heading to work. I don't know why that was scrapped. It looks pretty cool. I guess probably because the Fredbear Basket's eyes. Old teasers. Uh, we're no longer what you remember. Uh, got another one of those. And that's... That would have actually been a pretty cool mechanic, having them coming through the ceiling. That'd be pretty terrifying, but I guess it doesn't really clash well with the office. Got caution tapes, uh, masks. Ugh, you will not die. That looks disgusting. It literally looks like it could be William Afton, and he's just not dying no matter what. Original map layout by Jay Bird, and um, yeah, it looks, looks pretty dang good. And then we have Custom Night and Insane Mode. And basically, I would set all of this. I would set this, and you and you had to click on it individually. So I bet that would get really annoying. Uh, okay, okay, uh, we, you know, you understand. So with knife five beaten, I'm gonna see if I can beat insane mode and custom night. I'm gonna see if I can beat those two modes of the game, and then I'm gonna see if, uh, like, because there is a second key that I can obtain. I just don't know where I could get it, but basically, I'm gonna try beating Custom Night in Insane Mode, see what kind of endings I get, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Hey you! Yeah you! Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on a new video. I also have a Twitter, an Instagram page, as well as a Discord server you can join, and an Ask FM page. And if you're hungry for more Gorn Games Breathe, then check out my other videos. <laughs>